Welcome finance professionals. In this video, I will provide you with five top CV tips to help you boost your CV and boost your career prospects. These top five CV tips come from myself. I'm an investment banking veteran, and these top five CV tips will help you score a high paying salary across any of the finance niches, anything from investment banking to sales and trading, hedge funds, asset management, private equity, and so much more. A brief intro to economics, Ethan. I have 10 years experience in investment banking. I've worked at top investment banks such as Goldman Sachs and successfully interviewed at JP Morgan, Citigroup, Credit Suisse and many other top finance firms. Here's a disclaimer, have a quick look and then we'll move on to those five top tips. It's important to start your CV with a strong profile summary. Now the profile summary is the top five sentences that you'd put at the top of your CV, two to five sentences where just below your name and your contact details, you summarize your strongest attributes, your strongest skills, achievements, experience, and future career goals. This will attract the attention of the reader, of the hiring manager, of the recruiter, to know why they should read the whole of your CV and invite you for an interview. So make sure your CV summary at the top focuses on these top things, your key achievements, your relevant experience for the job you're applying for, and your future career goals. In terms of your writing style at the top of your CV, those two to five sentences should be really bold and confident in your writing style. Mention how you're driven, you're accountable, and how you're super committed to this particular career path that you're pursuing. I hope you can use this by looking at your CV and consider to what extent you have included some of these relevant words, these right tone to use, being bold, being confident, showing how you're super enthusiastic for the job you're applying for. Now it's important to demonstrate in point two that you're a problem solver. So your CV should show two managers who are hiring someone to fix problems, help them with their team, help them with their business growth. You need to ensure your CV shows how you're a good problem solver. Show how you could add value to their business, how you could fix any of their problems and combine your skill set and determination to succeed. And if you look at some of the examples we have on the next slide, this will really help you. So how could you show that you're a good problem solver? Include a few examples on your CV of how you solve problems, whether it's a university or in your previous job experience. Maybe you manage a university project. You help solve a solve a work, work sorry a university project where you had to work towards a tight deadline. You had to work with team members. You have good teamwork skills. You had to delegate tasks within the team. You had to organize the structure of the project. How you could complete the task on time. So these are all good skills that show you have the ability to solve problems when it comes to managing a business project. Another good problem solving skill you could show is how you have analysis skills in previous job roles. Maybe you did analysis to analyze the sales, the sales techniques they're using, or to manage their business growth plans, or to do some financial research and come up with trade ideas. So analysis is a key skill you need to have to demonstrate how you can solve problems for the career you're applying for. So make sure you have a look at your CV and show and demonstrate in your CV to the recruiter, to the hiring manager, how you're a good problem solver. You can solve the issues they have. Think about the business you're applying for. Think about what problems they may have and show on your CV how you can solve some of those problems. Now, I hope you're finding this video helpful. If you are, please click like, leave a comment. If you have any questions, click subscribe and click the bell to stay notified so you're aware of all the new videos and helpful free content to help you with your career. Now, point three, you need to be able to demonstrate how you can be a good global corporate citizen. So what do we mean by that? Now, what we need to do is understand that top finance firms demand you're capable of working with others from diverse backgrounds, and you have some experience that make you well suited to working in the global economy. So how exactly could we do this? You need to show on your CV how you've maybe worked overseas previously or you volunteered abroad. 
Maybe you've learned learned languages for foreign countries, or you've worked on global university projects. And these all show how you can work in a finance firm's global offices, and you can work on particular niche issues they may need to solve. So let me talk you through that in a bit more detail. On your CV, if you mention your overseas work placements, um, this will show how you have worked abroad, you understand foreign cultures and foreign work cultures. Even if you volunteered abroad, maybe you don't have the work experience abroad. If you volunteered abroad, this shows how you can work with people from foreign cultures and understand how they work in terms of their approach to, to organizing things within teams, working with others, their different communication styles. And in addition to that, if you have any foreign languages, this will really help you in your career. Because many times in major finance firms, they have some niche needs. Maybe they need someone to be their Spanish sales contact or their Mandarin sales contact, which means they have some Spanish clients or some Mandarin speaking clients. And if you have those language skills, it'd be very helpful because you can deal with those niche clients and help serve them better. And it will solidify your position within the company. Now, in totality, if you have all these type of skills, working with people from diverse backgrounds, working with foreign languages or global university projects, which shows you can work with people overseas, manage the time zone difference, manage the cultural differences when it comes to work. This means you can work effectively at the team and the company you're applying for by working in their global offices. So say you're working in the London office. If you can speak Mandarin, I'm sure they'll let you be in their Hong Kong office and get experience there, or maybe work in their Madrid office if you speak Spanish. So it's good to show you how, how, how you are a good global corporate citizen on your CV. Now, if we move on, I need you to ensure you take into account point four. Now, point four is ensuring you remember readability, which means your CV needs to be easy to read for a for a particular hiring manager, for a recruiter. So they should look at the top part of your CV, the profile summary I mentioned in point, point one, and then read the rest of your CV and make sure it's quite easy and accessible so they can quickly identify your skills and your career path. You don't have to use words such as, I did this, my my work was this, I and my are overused on CV, so try to limit those. You can simply focus on the verbs and the adjectives of what you've done. Now, some good examples to help um, help you understand this would be on the next slide. You can use examples such as built a revenue generating trading algorithm to excel in FX markets or cooperated across a diverse team of students to create presentations on Bank of England's monetary policy during the economic boom period. So what are these examples showing? They are showing how you can demonstrate how you have a lot of relevant skills in just a few short sentences. So in the first example here, you can build a revenue generating trading algorithm. This means you have the ability to understand the business requirements. You can understand trading, algorithmic trading, which is a bit more complex. You have complex uh, analytical skills and you understand the foreign exchange markets, the FX markets. So you see in just a few sh short, in a short phrase, in a few short words, you're demonstrating quite a lot of good skills building, revenue generating, trading, understanding complex algorithmic trading, and having some product knowledge of FX markets. In the second example, it's showing how you can cooperate across a diverse team of students. This means you can work with people from different backgrounds. So you have that skill, you can, you can have good co collaboration and cooperation with different people. So that's good teamwork skills across different cultures. You can create presentations, which means you have good sales and marketing skills, and you have some niche financial knowledge around monetary policy and economic boom and decline periods. So you have some good skills in general in terms of technical skills, teamwork skills, sales and marketing skills with the presentation mentioned here. So these are all good things to mention on your CV. And it's very easy to read, as you can see, it's quite a lot of information in a short space. Now, just finishing up point four. Now, you can use these tips and these will really help you with your um, CV. So have a look at these a bit closer and review your CV against it. You should start your sentence with your achievement, as we've seen in the previous example, building something, collaborating with others on something, building a trading model, collaborating with others on a presentation. And use concise language 
two-line sentences, four-line paragraphs. Those are quite good in terms of showing how in just a brief space, in those one, one to two pages that you have in your CV, you can demonstrate your skills in a very short time frame and very brief, very briefly for the reader to quickly get through your CV and invite you for your first round interview. Now, point five, and this is the fifth and final point, and this is very important. This is what the recruiter will typically be looking at. So let me talk you through this. Now, you need to create a noble narrative around your career growth on your CV. So what exactly do we mean by this? What we're trying to say here is your CV should show from start to finish how the next natural step in your career is the job you're applying for. So maybe you start with your academic achievements. You went to a college, you studied accounting, finance, economics, any type of um, banking or finance related degree, uh, college studies. Then you went on to your degree. You did economics, accounting, finance, business, something alongside something alongside your studies that would be relevant to that. You maybe did a spring week, did an internship, had some relevant work experience, maybe at a top bank, a top management consultancy or accountancy firm and you could show how all of these are leading up to your next job role and in your kind of profile summary or just generally in your cv it should clearly show a clear career path over the next one five and ten years so if you're interested in this and you found these five points quite helpful i'd recommend you have a look at the CV Resume Masterclass. I've put together a specific masterclass that covers through these points in a lot more detail, alongside a ton of examples, over 50 examples of top CVs across, the, across all the best companies in the world, in the finance industry, from Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, various hedge funds, cryptocurrency firms, and so much more. And from this course, you'll be able to write an excellent CV. You'll be able to use the phrasing, the wording, the structure of over 50 examples for top companies to incorporate into your CV and incorporate into your job searching prospects. Now, I also offer a tailor-made service where I write your CV or your LinkedIn profile or cover letters and really help boost your job applications through leveraging over 10 years experience where I've done it all myself. I've been interviewing people. I've been also helping people um, and doing it for myself as, I, as I've shown in some of my previous screenshots, developing a good CV, good cover letters, good LinkedIn profile, di discussing these matters with recruiters, with top companies and securing top roles. Now, the career advice service I offer would be a one-on-one -on -one session where I'd help you for about an hour or several sessions, help you plan your career, develop your skills, and overcome any career, challenge you, career challenges you might be facing. And this will help you secure those high-paying careers. Now, if you're really not sure, I offer a free discovery call, which is a 15-minute call where we can discover how I could help you with your career help you with any of your various career strategy plans. Maybe you wanna change your career, move into a particular area of finance. I can help you with all these type of points through my service here. So it's just a free call, the link's in description, and we can talk you through any of your issues and help solve them as quick as possible. I hope you found this video helpful and I'm looking forward to helping you boost your career. Have a look at these free playlists for further information and for any of the courses or services I mentioned, have a look at the links in description and see you in the next video.